A mass is attached to spring with constant k. It's pulled back from a distance x on a horizontal plane with coefficient of friction mu. What is the total distance traveled by the mass? So a distance time graph for a spring looks something like a sine graph. But uh, because we have this dampening factor from the friction, it would tend towards the equilibrium point. So this is a spring. And uh, actually, with this problem, you'd expect some intense math using the sine graph. But you can solve this just using energy conversions. So the spring will have the potential elastic energy initially. Uh, we'll get into why in a sec. That would equal 1 half k x squared. And now let's just draw what this would look like. It would be pulled back to here. And then x. So now with the friction, you know, making it relative, uh, related to energy, we can consider the work done by the friction. So the work would equal the frictional force times a distance. And this distance is actually what we're looking for, because that's the total distance the mass, mass is going to travel while the friction force is acting on it. So that would be equal to mu mg times d. You know, friction force just equals mu mg using our given variables. And so the mass is not going to reach its equilibrium point because of friction. Uh, I'll draw here. It'll, it would end up somewhere short of the equilibrium point. And we'll call the distance it is away x2. Now, this x2. Well, first, um, this point would be the final potential elastic energy. So we can write that out. This is what it's getting converted into. K x2 squared. And now we have to find what this x2 is. So we can, you know, in terms of the variables we know. So at this point, the friction force is equal to the restoring force, which is kx. That's why it stops. And if we recall, the friction force is equal to mu mg. So we can just solve for x2 as being mu mg over k. Now we pretty much have everything we need. So uh, we have the initial potential elastic energy. Uh, once you take away the work and the final potential elastic energy, it'll equal zero. But of course, we want this written in the variables we know. So it would be uh, the friction for our, we'll do it in terms of, you know, the distance, obviously. So mu mg d equals one half k. We can combine, uh, you know, some terms or take out the common term, obviously. And then write it out. x squared minus mu mg over k squared. And now we want the whole thing in terms of d. So that would equal k over 2 mu mg times 1 half k. Or we already have this 1 half k. So it would just be times x squared minus mu mg over k squared. And this is your answer.